You must remember this A kiss is still a kiss Hey friends, tonight we are dining at the Crystal Palace. Now, this is my first time ever being here actually and it's always been on my bucket list and I don't know, I just kind of felt like, you know what, today's gonna be the day. So, I booked a reservation, party of one, and uh, let's go do this. This is a buffet with character and they have creative array of salads, freshly made soup, pasta, baked breads, carved meats, fish, shrimp, chicken, and house-made sweets, and even soft serve ice cream. $55. This is a pretty penny. But like I said, it's always been on my bucket list. Now, I'm pretty sure after I eat here, I've been at every single restaurant, at Magic Kingdom because I've done Be Our Guest, I've done the Plaza, I've done the Liberty Tree, I've done the Diamond uh, Horseshoe, and I think that's it. Yeah! Yeah! I am all checked in and just waiting for them to call my name. The characters that are actually in here that come around to the table and say hi are from the Hundred Acre Woods. So Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, I think Eeyore, and maybe Piglet. So I'm excited because I do love Winnie the Pooh. They're my mom's favorite. Morrow friend. Hi, friend. Hey. And look how big this place is. I've never noticed. I see Eeyore and Piglet over there. Pooh's in the corner. And they got me this nice little two-top table. And I noticed they sell Bud Light here. Also some hard ciders and wines. Pretty nifty. And of course I opted in for a Bud Light. But now we're gonna go up and we're gonna take a look at some of the food section and just tour. It is absolutely stunning in here. And is Tigger trying to scare Piglet or something? <laughs> Seriously though, it is beautiful in here. I love it. Welcome to our Friendship Day celebration. Hi. <laughs> Welcome, Friendship Day. <laughs> I can already tell that the character meet and greets are going to be fantastic. Just by the interactions of me walking around. I think we'll start with Pooh's Corner here. And this is the children's buffet. Chicken nuggets, corn dog nuggies, some corn and peas and mac and cheese. That seems pretty delicious. And for the cold side, we have a bunch of salads, including some fancy stuff. This is a Florida strawberry citrus salad, and then some peel and eat shrimp with all the fixings. Look at that. But holy moly, I just looked at the hot food buffet. I feel like this was made for me. I'm not even kidding. They have jambalaya. Ho, 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 ho. Also pierogies, carrots, chicken, rice, cornbread, mashed potatoes, green beans, and then you take a little pixie right on over here, and we got chicken wings. They got ginger chicken wings, buffalo style, and even just plain fried chicken wings. This is like perfect. This is like so interesting. They have spiral pasta with smoked bacon and peas, and then a garden patch cottage pie, which right here is it. Oh, and also the salmon. And they have peach barbecue glazed pork and a roasted strip loin of beef. This is gonna be fun. The buffet is definitely amazing and it's the same on both sides. So whether you go that way and in or you go this way and in, it all leads to the meats. And I might as well start off at Pooh's Corner because 
I want to get a corn dog nuggie, just like that. And then also a regular chicken nuggy. Oh, Papa, I don't know how to work tongs. I like that. Mashed potatoes are a necessity. Look at that, creamy. And of course, we're going all in on the jambalaya. We're gonna need a big poop. There we go. Make sure we got some of the shrimp. The shrimp right in there. And also some of that sausage. There we go, get in there. And I might as well grab one of these carrots. They look very soft. I just realized because I started at Pooh's Corner, the children's buffet, I actually grabbed one of the kids' plates. So I don't have any room left on my plate because it's a little tiny one. We'll stack it as high as we can. So I'll grab one buffalo wing. You know, I'm kind of a flats guy. I like the flats. Oh, and also definitely one of these ginger wings. Yeah, I gotta try that. Perfect. And then we'll come back up and get a normal size plate. But I do want to show the soup. We have New England clam chowder and broccoli cheddar soup. Oh yeah. Came back to the table. Bud Light is here. And I think Tigger is about to come over and say hello. He's signing an autograph at the moment. The first thing that I'm going for is the carrots. And I have to tell you, I already took a bite because it looks so delicious, and I was right. It is so soft, and it's just delicious. I love carrots now. Look it on my face. Got it. Oh? Would you like to join me? Thank you. Yeah, how are we doing? Good? You got some jambalaya? Chicken wing? Huh? No, you're good. I get it. I get it. You know, it's tough. Very tough, but it's very delicious. Very delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Now I think I need to try this jambalaya. I want to make sure I get a good bite. Oh yeah, right there. That was like perfect. That was a perfect scoop. I got a little sausage and a shrimp on the bottom. Now, I love jambalaya, but I don't like spicy jambalaya, and I like it actually a little on the drier side. So, let's hope this lives up to French Quarter, because I do love the French Quarter's jambalaya. It is superb, but definitely on the spicier side, French Quarter is a little bit more mild. I really do like it though, and I'm definitely getting more of that. The regular soft drinks are included in the price of a buffet, and you get sodas, lemonades, and stuff like that. I did go with the Bud Light, like I said, and it was uh, $8 for the Bud Light. So uh, it's the price you gotta pay if you wanna have a beer in the Magic Kingdom. Take a look at the mashed potatoes. They are very creamy. Oh yeah, those are on point. The mashed potatoes were delicious, but they just made an announcement they're gonna have a special parade for all the boys and girls to go join Tigger as they uh, celebrate Friendship Day. I think that's kinda cool, but I'm probably gonna stay in my seat. Time to check on the wingies. Which one do I go first, ginger or buffalo? Oh, me Tommy, me want wingy. I think buffalo first since that's more traditional. Very good, not spicy at all. What keeps on getting in my face? Are those gray hairs? This whole time, I thought there was food in my beard but they're gray hairs, I think. Oh my lord. Oh, there goes the parade. Look at Tigger, he's really hopping. I did finish the first plate. I gotta say, I like the ginger wings a little bit better than the other ones. Jambalaya, I'm getting more of that, and I'm definitely getting more of those carrots. They were phenomenal. We're not gonna get plates for Pooh's little friends this time. We're going with a big plate. 
And this is what I came back with, a little carrots, a little jambalaya, the pork, the strip loin, and some more mashed potatoes. I'll tell you what though, I cannot get enough of these carrots. They are literally perfect. So soft, oh my lord. Both the strip loin and the pork are phenomenal. I highly recommend them. I'm very like impressed with the fruit here. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't say so as much, but like it just fits my palate perfectly. I love jambalaya and I love wings and I love uh, pork loin, I love strip loin. There's a lot of things that go well for me here. And hello there you are. You're not sad, are you? What? Why would you be sad? Oh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> you want to be outside watching the fireworks. That's what's going on. You're on the inside, but want to be on the outside. You want to be looking in. Yes, very good. <laughs> Look at them. Look at that. Oh, look at everyone, they're excited to see you as they're walking by. Hi! Or maybe they don't see you. I see you. I see you. Oh! <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Look at your walk away. <laughs> oh man. These plates keep on getting better and better and better. This time, I got the chutney to go with the pork. I'm excited to see how that mixes. It looks pretty delicious. And I'm gonna try that right now. Maybe a little dabble. Oh, look at that. And I'm a little bit excited because I am a big fan of applesauce on pork chops. So I'm sure peach chutney on pork loin is kind of like the same thing. Fantastic, literally. If you like, like I said, applesauce on pork chops, you're gonna love this. I mean, this is phenomenal. Oh, and then right outside the window, Happily ever after. That's awesome. Oh, too bad you can't actually see it when you're sitting down here because they have a, a yawning. They can see it right there. So you actually have to come over and stand by the side. Or you can watch it from the patio, which I think is a pretty good view. Oh, I don't want to go out there. It says emergency exit only. So we're just going to assume that it's a pretty good view. <laughs> I think I've seen all the characters except Pooh. And look at that! <laughs> Hi, Pooh! <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, oh wow, I've seen everybody. Now Pooh's here. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now I think it's that time we check out the desserts. Here's a look at all the desserts. We got s'mores, red velvet cupcakes. How about this? I think that's rabbit's chocolate pudding? Yeah. Oh, that looks very good. That's a blueberry cheesecake. And that's an orange chocolate cheesecake. I'm not a big fan of the cheesecake, so I might just get a s'mores. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> but over on this side, that's where the good stuff is. Look at this, bread pudding. Oh man, that looks delicious. If I can get it up, there it goes. And then right here, a toffee crunch brownie. These are hot and soft, that's what I like. Oh, and then also some cookies. Oh wow, ooh. That got a little crazy. Red pudding looks so unique. I'm excited to try this brownie. That looks good too. This is all soft. Even the cookies were. Like I took a little bite of the cookies. They're not like hard. They're just like soft. That's amazing. Bread pudding definitely first. Ooh. Hmm. 
Oh, that is really, really sweet. I don't know if I like that. Now I think it's gonna go for the brownie. Cool. The brownie was probably the best. I mean, I've had this s'more tart before. Um, I've had it a, a lot of places they serve it, but the brownie is the best. I think the bread pudding is just a little too sweet. I like my bread pudding, I don't know, I guess normal. This is kind of like a sugary, spiced up version of it. And the cookies are pretty delicious too. Well, I think it's time we head out. Yeah, we're gonna head out. I know, oh, thank you. Oh, I felt so welcome here. <laughs> What is Pooh doing? Hi <laughs> Pooh! <laughs> One other thing I want to point out, they have their own restrooms in here, and they actually have like a pre-restroom waiting area. You guys are seeing my speech impediment a little bit there. I definitely hear those W's, but I want to show you because it's kind of fancy. So it's this way to the restrooms, and look at this! I could just hang out in here. Boys and girls, listen. In just a few minutes, there will be a special Crystal Palace celebration. I've never seen something like this before. It's a, it's like a pre-restroom waiting area. Oh, the D dong. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna do it for me absolutely delicious in there I loved almost everything I really love the jambalaya and the carrots those were fantastic and it's perfect perfect for my palate and my types of food chicken wing jambalaya meats you know I get the meat sweats so it was really good definitely up there is one of my favorite Disney buffets and the character meet and greets were phenomenal they were really very active actually just when walking up and down from the bar and everything like that I thought that was special but on a side note as I was in there uh, I got a notification on my phone and I found out that Disney is gonna be closing yeah they're closing March 16th to the end of the month and uh, I'm just finding out about this so uh, I don't know how many more vlogs I'm going to be able to do at Disney. I'm still going to make videos, but uh, wow, I'm going to have a whole three weeks without going to the parks. But yeah, I guess it's for the best, honestly. If we can contain anything with the uh, coronavirus, I think it's good that we jump on it immediately. So, until next time, we'll see ya. Bye.